When we take a look at the unique creatures and geological formations on our home planet, a great melancholy is often mixed in with the budding fascination, for it has always been true that everything that comes into being is also ephemeral. What applies to living beings and structures on Earth can therefore also be applied to a larger context. When the Sun enters the final chapter of its galactic existence in about 5 to 7 billion years, the Earth's fate will also be sealed. It seems as if transience is a fixed, unalterable cosmic law. But how does the matter apply in the case of the entire universe? Will the universe one day cease to exist? And if so, how and when will this final process take place? In today's video, we'd like to introduce to you some interesting theories regarding this exciting topic. Never want to miss one of our videos about space again? Then remember to subscribe to our channel and activate the bell. With a thumbs up, you show us that we engage you with our contributions. How will the universe end? It's well known that the hour of birth of the universe lies about 13.8 billion years back. That process, within which matter, space, and time originated from a preceding singularity, is called the Big Bang. From this galactic zero hour, the universe began to expand more and more. And indeed, this rapid expansion process of the universe continues to this day. While many experts spend a lot of attention on the investigation of the origin of the universe, other researchers deal with an opposite question. How will the universe end? Until a few years ago, renowned astronomers still assumed that the cosmos would be in a kind of infinite cycle. Consequently, every galactic death, or in other words, the absolute contraction of the universe, would be followed by a new birth, or another phase of expansion. The current information suggests, however, that these processes do not follow a recurring rhythm. In many trillions of years, and thus a long time after the end of our domestic solar system, the universe could practically drift apart. This process would ultimately lead to the fact that no new stars or galaxies would be formed in the universe. Slowly but surely, the last stars will also go out and plunge the firmament into a deep darkness. The remaining matter left in the universe would eventually be sucked in by black holes until the last galactic heat fragments will have also disappeared. This predicted end of the universe is known among experts as the Big Freeze. Discovery of Cosmic Expansion a look at the history of astronomical research shows that the predicted death of the universe has already undergone several changes. Only about a century ago, most experts were firmly convinced that our home galaxy, the Milky Way, represented the entire universe. Today, however, we know that our galactic home is only a tiny fraction of a gigantic, overarching cosmos. Many decades ago, however, scientists believed that the universe had a static character. According to this, the corresponding constellations in space had always existed in the form in which they were observed at that time. Conversely, this would also mean that the universe would not change its shape in the future. However, this widespread assumption was to be dramatically shaken when Albert Einstein published his world-famous theories of relativity. Indeed, the German physicist's equations suggested that the universe was characterized by constant motion. It was also during this period that terrestrial astronomers began to realize that those spiral nebular structures they could see through their telescopes were not stars in the Milky Way. In truth, they were completely different independent galaxies. Edwin Hubble finally devoted himself to the task of meticulously observing the motion of these alien star worlds. Consequently, the US astronomer came to the realization that the galaxies in question were moving further and further away from our Milky Way. Mankind had discovered that the universe was expanding. Thanks to this significant scientific milestone, researchers were henceforth also able to observe the expansion of the universe in retrograde. The reconstruction of this cosmic expansion process finally led the scientists to the Big Bang theory mentioned at the beginning. After the question about the origin of the universe could be addressed this promisingly, a new question arose. In the reverse conclusion, how will the end of the universe take place? Death of the Universe 
In this topic, experts pursue two different approaches. On the one hand, it's conceivable that the constantly expanding universe will collapse one day in the distant future. On the other hand, there is the assumption that the end of the universe will be sealed by its constant expansion itself. In order to find out which of these cases is the most probable, scientists devote themselves to an extremely demanding undertaking. They fast forward the future development of the universe within their models. One possible way of making this prediction is to use the so-called Friedman equations. These equations established by the Russian physicist Alexander Friedman deal with the temporal development of the universe. The calculations established in 1922 showed that the fate of the universe is ultimately determined by its density. As soon as the matter in the universe exceeds a certain amount, the resulting gravity will stop the steady expansion process of the cosmos. The circumstance will ultimately cause the universe to virtually collapse back inward. In the 1960s, researchers began calculating all the matter in the observable universe. From the calculations, it appears that there is enough mass in the universe to cause it to become infinitely dense, or even to collapse into a giant black hole. This hypothetical process of galactic contraction to an infinitely small point was called the Big Crunch. Some experts suspected that this condition would eventually lead to another expansion phase, the so-called Big Bounce. Physicist John Wheeler repeatedly appeared in the 70s and 80s as an advocate of the Big Crunch thesis. At that time, the research of black holes experienced its first scientific high point. Accordingly, the US American considered the fascinating most massive formations in the universe as a possible model for the final state of the entire universe. The Big Freeze As already mentioned, however, the Big Crunch theory is only one of two variants that experts are currently discussing. At the end of the 90s, different research teams examined far remote regions in the universe. In the center of scientific interest were dying stars of the supernovae type. For many years, these stars were the most precise standard candles known for the determination of distances in the universe. The term standard candle includes those astronomical objects in space whose absolute brightness can be measured either directly or by measurable parameters. During their investigations, scientists observed that the supernovae studied were significantly farther away from our terrestrial home than they had previously expected. From this discovery, the experts concluded that the expansion of the universe had not slowed down, but was in fact accelerating. In order to justify this sensational circumstance from a technical point of view, dark energy was postulated. This hypothetical form of energy ultimately allowed the accelerated expansion of space to be explained. Although the existence of dark energy cannot be proven directly, many researchers were sure from then on that the universe would not collapse in a big crunch. This is because even if existing matter did one day pull the universe inward, the existing gravity could never be intense enough to overcome the effects of dark energy. This realization, however, does not mean that the universe has jumped off the brink of galactic death yet again. The end of the universe will merely be heralded in a different way. According to current estimates, visible matter makes up only about 5% of the total matter of the universe. Accordingly, the remaining portion is made up of 69% dark energy and 26% dark matter. As dark energy continues to drive the rapid expansion of the universe, the universe could one day succumb to its own gigantic dimensions. It's conceivable that in a few trillion years, all existing galaxies will have drifted so far apart that they can no longer be seen from more distant points of view. Many trillions of years later, the formation of new stars will also come to a standstill. At that time, stellar formations, such as black holes or white dwarfs, would have already trapped any remaining material in the cosmos. If we advance the evolution of the universe by one Google year, that is, one with 100 zeros, the last galactic objects will have disappeared from the scene. Once the supermassive black holes have evaporated by the influence of Hawking radiation, the universe will be characterized by an impenetrable darkness in which no matter exists. Why this process is called the Big Freeze becomes clear to us when we take a look at the predicted final temperature of the universe. If we follow the second law of thermodynamics, the entropy within a system increases until it finally reaches a fixed limit. Transferred to the developments in the universe, this means that one day in the distant future, the universe will assume a state in which all forms of energy, including heat, 
will be evenly distributed. Consequently, the final temperature of the dead universe will be just above absolute zero. Now we want your opinion. What do you think of the different theories about the end of the universe? Just write us your thoughts about today's video in the comments. Feel free to also take a look at the other exciting posts on our channel that we've linked for you in the credits. Thanks for watching, take care, and see you next time.